Has anyone ever asked you how long you've been doing something and you weren't sure how to answer? If you should say years or the date or how old you were when you started and how to answer that question in English? Well, don't worry, because we're here to help you. Today we're going to study how to answer a question in the present perfect continuous related to the time that you have been doing something. So when people ask you, how long have you been, they usually want to know something like, how long have you been studying English, for example. This is the present perfect continuous. We use the have that goes with the subject, you, and if it's he or she or it, it's has. Then we use been, and then we use the verb in the gerund form, which is the I, N, and the G. So when people ask, this, ask us, how long have we been doing something, we have a few um, options on how we can answer. We can say, I have been doing something since, for example, and if we say since, we want to talk about years, um, how old we were or time. So it's like, I have been learning English since, and we can say either since I was 15 years old. So we can say our age here, or we can say, um, I have been learning English for, so I have been learning English since I was 15 years old or since um, the year 2003, for example. So we can use a year date here, or we can say I've been learning English since July or since last year. So any of these are good. We can use our age, um, a concrete year, a month, or general time, last year, last week, or last night. But we can't say I've been learning English since four years. No, we can't say that. We have to use the year or the month. If we want to say that, we can say I have been learning English and here's where we can use for so I have been learning English for we can say three years for two months for three weeks for one decade or for my whole life. So when we use for, we use more general time periods, right? And when we use since, we use more specific time periods. Okay. So some words that we can use with the present perfect continuous is I have been learning, waiting, or doing. These are all verbs it's perfectly fine to use. However, there are some verbs that we cannot use with the present perfect continuous, such as know, like, or believe. They're not used in continuous. So you can say, how long have you known your friend, Jill? Not how long have you been knowing her. It has to be like, how long have you known her? The answer would be I have, so you use the same format, the have, then the verb, except you change this to the past participle. I've known her 
for three years. Okay. How long have you liked speaking different languages? Oh, I have liked speaking di different languages since I was a child. How long have you believed in ghosts? Oh, I have believed in ghosts since I was a little kid. Okay, so with these three verbs, you cannot use in the continuous, only in the past participle Y. Because these are like state verbs that deal with emotions or thoughts, you know? Not actions. Good, so these are a few rules that we use with the present perfect continuous. Let's look at an example with live and work. The verbs live and work. So for example, Jill has lived in Mexico for a long time. Or you can say Jill has worked in Mexico since 2012. So with those, we want to talk about a time frame when an action has happened and in the present continuous, present perfect continuous, we can do that using for and since. Okay, so I hope this video has helped you to organize your thoughts about how long you've been doing something and how to answer that question that always comes up. How long have you been studying English? Oh, I've been studying English since July. Or I've been studying English for two years. So I hope this video has helped you and keep studying. And if you need any more help, look at the other vi videos that have the present perfect continuous and present perfect grammar forms. And good luck with your English.